Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. This is the Volkswagen ID5 GTX. It has ID Software 3.1 on it and today I want to show you plug and charge with the new 3.1 software. So you need a few things. <laughs> I say three, I don't even know. <laughs> you need a few things if you want to use plug and charge. First the right chargers, only a few are supported. Ionity, Eon and a few more that I put in here because I can't remember. Second, you need 3.1 on the car ID software. Um, third is you need WeConnect ID, without that it doesn't work and you have to connect WeConnect ID to this car and then in WeConnect ID you have to activate plug and charge. It, it says install and then uh, it says it's uh, um, installed and you need a, a newest app because they just uh, added the, the plug and charge option I think a few weeks ago. And in the car you also can activate plug and charge. I saw an ID bus with 3.2. This option was then gone. I guess it's just always on. But I think it's good to have an option to turn it off if you don't want to use it at all. And then uh, that's it. Then if this all is activated you just plug in and it should work. So let's try this. Bloop. I just take Ionity charger and plug it in. No card or anything. If the charger is good, it should say communicating with the car. I had an Ionity charger in Nempit where it didn't work. And now it should just start charging. First it should say plug in charged authorized. Oh, there's auth uh, authentifizierung and it says plug in charge. And then it starts charging. Well, it needs a second to communicate with the car. What can it do to start charging? Come on! Yeah, it takes a long time, but that's always with Ionity. And then it starts. And just fine, like this. Without any problem, you don't have to do anything. It's awesome, you just plug it in and you can just go. The amazing thing with Volkswagen cars and Ionity is that the angle of the, of the charge port is perfect that the communication always works. I never had a problem. We drove this car 2,600 kilometers to Copenhagen and back, plugged in, worked. We were not just Ionity, but mostly it just worked. The, the chargers also always worked. There were a few broken ones. Um, um, they were just red um, or the screen was just off. But the ones that had a display and I plugged in and it worked every time. We had no problems charging at all. And plug and charge worked on every Ionity charger, even in Denmark, um, except for the one in Nempitz that's near Leipzig. The one, it's, it's a, a different design. I can show you here in the video. It just didn't work. But it's an awesome feature. Like I said, I used it a few times. Really great. And if you don't want to use WeCharge, you can only use WeCharge. You need, need the, the, the contract with Volkswagen. Yeah, I didn't say that, eh? <laughs> you need a WeCharge contract, uh, um, um, but you have that automatically with your Volkswagen and WeConnect ID. Um, then it will uh, you pay with that. If you don't want to use that, you have to use the card before you plug in. You cannot just plug in and then use the card because it's already communicating and then using plug and charge and then your WeCharge account. But awesome, it works, really happy. Um, like I said, I used it a lot, it's cool. That's it for me, thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care, bye.